Hello everyone in YouTube land. Oh, the music's a little bit loud on this. Let me turn that down a bit. Alright. I hope you're all doing well. Now, where we ended this at midnight last night. And it was right here. And yes, I do recall saying that I would be back in the morning. Well, that was before I found out what today would be like. And... Uh, don't worry, it was not bad news. I actually uh, got um, got to hang out with my brother and my parents today. It was a lot of fun. Let me uh, refuel here. And uh, open up my Mac. And recharge with all that. So, um, any case, it was a lot of fun getting to hang out with them. But it did mean that... Instead of doing this this morning, um, all I had time for was to render out the most recent video, which was on some math stuff, because I am still a math nerd. Uh, it was on, in, in case you're wondering, that was the video on why zero factorial is equal to one. So anybody who's interested in math, feel free to watch that. Um, but in any case, it meant I didn't have a chance to spend any time in this game. So we're in the same position where we were before, which is the big question. How do I handle this? So we disconnect a bunch of stuff, but now we're running into issues um, because I can't stack these. And I'd hope that I could. You can see this one that we got around... Oh, excuse me, got a little hiccup there. Let me get rid of this tutorial. So, um, for now, what I want to do is just make sure that these machines are all hooked back up. It doesn't really matter what they look like because this is heading to the south down here. And because it's going towards the pole, the grids here, which when we pull up this, let me just grab this so... Now it looks like we're in construction mode, as it says down here. You can see the grids keep changing. They get smaller. These lines are not parallel. They are converging. So the farther we go up here, the less space I'm going to have. And I will want to grab some of this copper, I think. And just right up here is where the pole is. You can see it right up there. I'm not going to go all the way there because I need to come all the way back anyway. But this planet really isn't that big when it's all said and done. And what we'll want to do, I just want to make sure these machines are running so I have the equipment ready. And then we really want to go east-west because they, the squares that are on the ground are going to be this exact same thing all the way to the left, all the way to the right. All the way around the ring. So it's not going to converge. It's not going to get bigger as we go this direction to the equator. So um, we just need these supplies while we build that direction and wherever we decide to do it we might want to scout the planet out a little bit first but i want to make sure that we have the ability to make equipment while that happens so we need to hook this back up and we can't really do that with this here um Now that comes this way. I wonder, did I even try to come out this way? See, it would work. I think it would work. Is that... I guess I'll have to click down like that and come like this. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Now, with this in place, do I have enough space to elevate so let's go up so go up that went up a lot so right here we do have enough to go up do i have enough space to get back down i do so we can connect that back up okay and then this goes over to this machine it splits here though so we need to get this over to there and I'm probably gonna have to do what is on this one just repeat that over there but before I do that we also need to get 
these over. Is there a place to do that? As I'm looking here, it doesn't seem like there's an immediately obvious place to do this. And I'm just noticing this is up, this is down, so I have to go over this and below that. Um, and then somehow get this to hook up to that. Why is that on a different line? Hmm. This isn't actually going anywhere, so we can actually remove this part of that. Okay, let's think about this. Don't need it in this machine? Correct, we don't need it in that machine. But we do need it here. Yes, gears there. I'm kind of tempted to just take this out and come around. Because it's only the gears that are left on that if we can solve this issue. The other thing we can do... Mm, that's tough because this has to go that way too. I was thinking we could elevate, but this has to go out to there. Okay, actually I've got an idea. Let's get rid of this. Where is that located? There. What if what we did instead is we have out that mm -hmm. that's gonna be up too high now um I think actually what I want to do Back this up a little bit more. With that there, I don't know if this will fit. It will fit here. I kind of want it right there, I think. Now, if we take this and go into there. This will feed both plates in here. Okay, so we want that's on the ground. So we want this one to come over to here. This is taking these correct. Okay. So now we can take that into there. Ooh, that's a Okay, that's why I looped it around here though, but we can actually, it looks ugly, but if it works, that's the only thing that matters. Let's squeeze into here. And then we've got to get that over to there. And this needs to come. As you can see, this actually could be elevated here. We can use this one.
and then ah. now we do need it to go that way though but it seems to be here instead Hook that to there. Goes into there, that works. Remove that for a second. You know, down to there. Okay, so that's going through. So the only thing we need is gears over here, right? And gears over here, and we need them to also come through. And this needs to hook up. We can hook that up, I believe, by doing this. Make sure that's up. Now yeah, I can go from here down. Good question. Hooking on to the wrong one, I think. It really does not like that. Get this through. Tell it to stay up one. And it's over. Why did it do that? I think you want to back that up a little bit. And then come down to there. Okay, so that hooks that back up. So we just need to figure out how to get over to here. Really, we just need that to come through on that side. Doing it this way. would enable us to get this out. That angle. So if we come up to here like this, we want this one though. So we're just trying to elevate it. Bring that into there. Sure that I'm on the right. 
one not. There we go. I think this will fit down to there. Okay, so we got that taken care of. So that just means the only bit left is to connect up the gears on this side. And what I'm going to do for that one, take out three in the middle here. If I can get back one more. the wrong one. Ha ah, I put the wrong one on. Ha ah, figures. Okay, well let's see here. I'm gonna leave most of this, but ooh, I need to um get rid of that. <laughs> That's okay, we can clear off this build. Okay, so I did the wrong one. Um back over like that. So the real question is if we can go down, but we actually, okay, so we need to split this over here anyway. So if we can do, if we can do that one, that would be best. Let me see if I can get down to there and I can. to there, across to there, this, goes over to there. All right, so now we've got all of that hooked back up. So, the spaghetti is still real in this section. Um, part of it is because these are not in line. Uh, and that's, again, because this grid is getting narrower as we come here. So it messes up the straight lines and then we're there. So it makes it more difficult to route stuff around. But we have all the machines now in place where we are not going to lose any of the stuff we've built before. Let's see, so we got 50 there, 50 there, a bunch there, yeah, way more than we'll need on that anyway. Um, okay, so we'll leave this as it currently is with, with the plan that we're going to actually dismantle all of this as soon as we replicate something better for it. But instead of going that direction, north-south, we're going to go this direction, which is east-west. So this is north-south. This is one of the barriers. This, or not barriers, divisions is what I'm looking for. This is going to be the equator right here. And before I do anything else, let's just scope out this world. So there's land to the south of the equator. It goes up quite some ways, and then we run into water out there. It could be a problem there, but we've got a long distance for that going this way. We'll run into water up here. We can scoot over a little bit to the north. 
Uh, well, I can't really do north there, but move over. I mean, that will give us a lot of land up to here, but there's just a ton of water on here. So we're going to run into problems probably no matter where we seek to do this. I'm kind of thinking there's it's really narrow in here, so routing around this kind of stuff would be a little bit difficult. But there is stone here. That's the other thing is looking at the resources. I wonder if I scoot over a bit. No. Okay, that's one of the poles there, so did I somehow rotate? Oh, I rotated. Up here is north. So we go this way. I'm trying to see where there could be a lot of land. Keep orienting. We want a long stretch of land that's going east west, really. But a lot of these oceans are just going north south. It really looks like if we take about this latitude up here and come through this section here, that'll give us the longest amount of mm, longest amount of runway, I guess for lack of a better term. Um, Okay, and what we could do too is we've got this co this copper up here. And we got iron down here, oil, coal, stones down there, so we can round it up. Um, yeah, I might start making my main base roughly in this area. Let me reorientate northwest or nor north south. Nah, I can speak English. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want to do it roughly at this section of land that's going to give us the most space what i can do here because all the copper is going to be plates anyway we can use this section up in here just to turn a bunch of this into plates route it down to here shoot it off that direction we'll have iron which i can pipe over the water i say pipe it'll be belt belt it over the water because you can't build on there without using foundations anyway and have it loop down to connect and go that way as well and then we can do all the stuff that requires both of these relatively easily um, and we can build up what we need to get our oil going and that would be really close uh, coals right over here too and we can just use some of this okay so if i'm coming out here basically i want to come up from here to where this coal is and hook a left and come over to this direction. Okay, sounds good. One thing we're going to need to do is bring out the power. Um, see, the power is mostly down here. I'm going to try and build it up from here um, and pay, pay attention to these as my landmarks. So I'll build it up here If I take it on this angle, I'll, I'll see this water and know I'm in the general area. Okay, that's my plan. So let's go grab some power. I could do it with Tesla, but I want to increase the energy that we've got too. And that's going to be this box over here. Take 20 of those. Make sure that this is still running. Is that pulling? I bet. Okay, it is pulling, but this is kind of a little extra. Okay. Let's 
see if I can... can't really do that, but I want to kind of continue this diamond type pattern. I'll probably just go ahead and fast forward on this. All right, so this is going to be roughly where I'll begin on there. So again, I'm going to come over here, make the copper. We've got two miners. I don't know if I'll need both of them. There's only 11. Let's see how many I can cover, though. Um, that needs foundation support. We come over here. Yeah, this is all going to need foundation, so we can really only build. Let's see if I can get this. Build that thing there. Okay. And then this is going to be hmm, what conveyor belts on this side. And any machines that I'm going to build off onto this side over here. So we'll keep the power over there. For that. Let's see, what have we got here? So we got seven. We are, that's going to give us 210 copper on there because it's 30 per. Two hundred and ten. Let me see. We're gonna need some more smelters. I'm gonna give myself some room this time. So, um, probably gonna put it about here. I only have three, so do three of these. Roughly hmm. that's not gonna get it all. I'm trying to think of where a good spot would be. Probably because I'm planning on building another row on this side, so we can do here and then after that other row have another one here to cover. It's not really gonna go over there, so maybe more like here. I'll move that when it's time, but Let's go ahead and just get this set up. Move that into there. Then this is pulling 60. So 210, this is going to be 60, 120, 180. We actually can only do one more machine, I think, with that one then on there. So really, we only need one more. So I'll instead add it over here, but we don't have to worry about that yet. Um, now with this, we're going to want to ship it out. And that's just going to go... Ooh, it does have a slight bend there. I think that is just the shape of the earth. Let me see if there's anything I can do about that really quick. Sometimes you can put down something and that gives us some dirt as you, you can see. The storage tank. It is more suitable for storing fluid than the storage. Each storage tank can only store one single type of fluid and can be built permanently. However, once it has been removed, 
all the stored fluid will be devastated. But now that still has this weird little thing in it. Um, just to be on the safe side, let's flatten out all of this stuff too. I'm just picking this up and putting it down because it's a cheap and easy way to not have to use foundations. Actually, as I'm looking here, you can see that the grid does change. So, that, yeah, it is slightly different here. Why? And that should be the equator, so... Hmm, I guess I was mistaken that... I thought all of these were going to be the same, but they're not. There's definitely... Oh, you know, this isn't the equator, right? The equator was down there. Equator's this. So this is running north-south. Okay. That's throwing me off there. So, um, yeah, the only way to tell for sure is to go into here and then orient north. And then, of course, it switches me back around, but north was up that direction, I believe. Yeah, north is this direction. So this is north-south. And that's why this is different. So it's really easy on this globe to get um, disoriented. But no biggie. This one can just come across like that. I don't want to get too far ahead of the drones. Actually, you know... One thing I could do is I know that this line is going to stay there, so <laughs> let's jump over because I'm going to have one more here, so I don't want to do it earlier than that. And this is where I want this outside lane. Here for now. And you can kind of see with all these space, well, of course, that was full machine, so. But the way they're spaced, then one more is going to have a full belt. Now, we could, of course, upgrade. Well, we'll need science first, but when we upgrade these, we could fit more onto a single belt. So, don't worry about that later, though. So, let me go run back and grab some smelters. Get some more miners because I'm going to add from here. The only thing that I uh, don't like is I will be running belts up back this way and then come back over to return it. Um, Seems kind of counterproductive, but I want everything on this kind of mini bus until uh, I am going to make the bus um, up until I can get the research done for the interplanetary system stuff and then i'll be redoing a bunch of the stuff again at that point so but that's kind of the point of this game is you're going to be designing and redesigning and optimizing redoing building again then rebuilding then tweaking and all that stuff this stage of the game it doesn't matter if it's optimized it doesn't matter if it looks good it only matters if you can get your foundation so that you can then build stuff later I'm going to take another stack of these. Uh, I'll take a stack of these just to be on the safe side. Don't think I need that, but I'm going to take that anyway. Uh, I don't need these yet. Oh, that's the machine. Um, yeah, we'll just take that. I don't need a full stack of those with 
assemblers do I have? I have 25. I don't need more assemblers yet. And we'll just take 50 of these smelters. Not going to need all 50, of course. At least not yet. Check our power supply. So we got quite a bit of power right now. 21 megawatts. Going through there. Another oil here. That's only 1.27. We're gonna need more oil than that, but that's fine. Now for this, the best place for the mines is going to be oh, let's get rid of that really quick first. Seven. Seven there. If I need to add another one, I can put it on this side. I'm going to need to fill in some of that to really do that, though. Now, for this, we do need some unsmelted ore to help make the um, magnetic rings and stuff like that. Um, I guess it wants me to activate that, so let me just do that really quick. Now, leave me alone. Um, there's no copper over that direction, but... I'm trying to think here. I'll go ahead and just do it from here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to install two miners on here. Now we can overlap nodes. We just need to make sure that it's not... I don't want to have this go too far over. Because this line that's on here, I believe, is where I mark the edge. So come by through here. Um, so I want to have it over this direction. And this actually should be fine. Um, this only has three veins, but what I'm going to do is use this one for the raw. This one will be plates. And so with that in mind, let's go ahead and do this. Seven, so we want four. Hmm. It would be best if I can clear up this. So what do I need for the landfill? Or not landfill, but the foundation. Uh, stone and steel. I've got all of that stuff. Well, you know, before I make that long trip back, I will set up my final smelter over here. That way I don't have to go all the way back here for a long time. This is a bit of a trick. Actually, where I'm going to put the assemblers is going to be over in this area. So I could, if I wanted to, I could even route up to here before I smelt it. Have that just come up and loop around. Have the smelters up here. 
So I'm going to need four of them for this. Let's go ahead and get this set up first, though. Actually, is that the input? That's the input, isn't it? across there and yeah I'm thinking like I could just put four more across here have this come up here the other one come up next to it and then split over to there and while I've got this down here I'm really gonna move this one over and have the steel on the side when it's time. Sounds like a plan. And then, let me look at the time here. Yeah. Once I route that over, then I think it'll be time to call it an episode for the day. use these as guidelines. So. How's my energy look? Okay, you can see these burn a lot longer than even the coal did, so I actually don't have much to worry about in terms of standing over the water even. All right. So this inside one will be the one that is not smelted. This outside one, I am going to run through smelters here. Um, since that's the plan, let's just go ahead and set the smelters up before I call it a day, so um, I'm going to need enough for output back here. So we got one, two, so we want the output to come across like here. And we'll have to see, I might have to add more in, but of course that's the story of this. So we need smelters. I'm going to need four smelters. Four. And this is going to be the output. And this is going to be iron. I'm going to keep it all the way on this line because I might need to expand this. Alright, so that's this pretty long episode now, so I'm going to go ahead and call it for the day. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and peace out.